Hi all. So today we are going to talk about some some thoughts I have in mind uh, about how to actually procure water for the animals, uh, for our cowsies. Here is a floater valve that will automatically shut down when the water level reaches high, so we can connect it by a hose here. Uh, some appropriate length to this particular splitter and the same thing will go another hose of the appropriate length to the other bucket over there which also has a floater valve and the same mechanism that will shut off automatically when the water gets full so with these two buckets at the appropriate distance which is variable x1 x2 the length from each of the water buckets to the splitter and then we have a 300 meter uh, low density polyethylene tube that is going to be forming the, the spine, the dynamic spine of the waterway on the fields up there. So, and what we also have is 75 meters of poly wire, two of these. Currently, one is in the field right now, making our um, cowsies delineated to stay on this side of the polycon. You can see the poly wire fence going there in the white. Exactly, that's 75 meters long. So we have two of these. And finally, we have 150 meter poly wire that uh, will be used for um, also fencing in the cows dynamically into different polygonal uh, blocks where we allow the cowsies to graze at different rates to understand their effects on the plant community ecology as well as later on with uh, more funding and time from volunteers and citizen scientists, we want to get into understanding the rhizosphere ecology as well as the nitrogen and phosphorus and other cycles as well as the carbon cycle in differentially grazed polyline delineated uh, polygonal randomized complete block designs of the effect of the grazing behavior of our animals on the pastures they're grazing on. So. Currently we have field one, which they just finished as we updated you. So uh, field one is recovering from a full blown eating up. And uh, a couple days ago, we moved them in the middle of the night over here. They're still going through this. And as you can see, they've selectively grazed specific species that they like. And then they go in rounds and they seem to be sort of pooping in, 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 a, in a more uh, consistent way, closer to the edges where they've eaten than all over where they are supposed to be eating but it's just a hypothesis it's falsifiable we haven't tested it so they seem to be not pooping so much on where they will be eating in the future on their own and here is uh, how we are going to try and plan this design so we will have let's see so this is the 75 meter line that's running so we have an almost triangle here um, and you can see these grasses that are extremely tall. So this has not been grazed at all for, uh, I don't know, the last 10 years or so, actually even longer. So then we're going to kind of cordon it off into a triangle here and then have an island corridor going through so we can actually walk along the edge of the fence and keep a sort of eye on the plant and, uh, and uh, invertebrate lives in the soil and the insects life in the Un, um, you know, untouched by cows uh, pasture in this triangle, we will fence. So we'll have a, possibly another 75 meter cord coming through here. And maybe we will make some designs with the 150 meter cord over there. So we can easily open them from different polygonal blocks to other polygonal blocks so that we can try to do essentially observational studies of the, um, of the system. So now, the constrained optimization problem is what should the diameter of the watering hose be to each bucket as well as what should be the distance of the splitter into the two buckets from the rest of the pipeline and where should we have uh, holes for an uh, easy way to connect the water source to each of these dynamically movable buckets. The reason for the dynamically movable plastic buckets is because when we did the uh, uh, grazing experiments in so far when you put the water bucket in the same place just because it's convenient for you to to come and put it there they seem to be going through quite a lot of uh, damage they're causing 
on the uh, land just around the water buckets because that's where they seem to be peeing and pooping and so on. So we want to probably emulate a system where watering is not exactly in the same place uh, for several days in a row, but actually sort of moves along uh, with the the fencing system so we we have a trickle system here set up but we will replace this with the floating valve system that we are almost done constructing so that's the plan for today see you all later